Good morning. So I'm the head of clean tech at IP Group, and IP Group is a, a billion-pound listed venture investment company. And the thing that motivates uh, my team is overcoming the challenge of how to scale deep tech startups. So that, that's the sort of why, the problem we're trying to solve. Uh, and, and the what is working with scientists as entrepreneurs. So not necessarily scientists as CEOs, although we, we have a few of those, but people doing world-class research that is motivated by an intrinsic desire to try and do something different, to pursue ideas that are sometimes out of the mainstream and even difficult to get funding for. So we work with people like that, and what I'm going to tell you about in the next few minutes is, is how we do that. And there are kind of three steps to it. We have a lot of people in the team who are themselves or were, were scientists. We spend a lot of time meeting um, people in labs, going into universities, and really understanding the fundamentals behind the ideas that researchers are working on. Um, having found stuff that can be uh, potentially a good startup company, we then commit for the long term to work with those teams. So uh, we invest for over a long time scale, we're very hands-on, and our intention is to build companies around those ideas, around that original science, uh, and be with those companies for the journey. We invest very early, but we keep investing all the way through to IPO uh, and beyond. And finally, when we have one of these ideas that starts to work, it's typically very distinctive, because the original science that we were working on uh, was often different to the mainstream. And so if it is working, then we have a company with a product and offering uh, that's very different from um, other offerings in the marketplace. And the way to achieve scale, then, is to market technology, to be a technology provider with IP, hence IP Group, to larger companies and, and achieve scale that way. OK, so let's meet some scientist entrepreneurs. So the first person I want to introduce you to is Professor Chris Rayner. So Chris uh, was working um, at the University of Leeds on the extraction of that complex molecule, which is a, a cancer therapeutic called uh, Taxol. And he was using supercritical CO2 to extract it from yew trees. And like a lot of the best science stories, it didn't work. And good scientists ask the questions why something doesn't work. And the reason that uh, that particular approach wasn't commercially viable was because of some reaction chemistry in carbon dioxide that wasn't previously known. And that motivated Chris to come to us and say that he thought that you could change the economics of carbon capture for CCS by re-examining the fundamentals of the carbon dioxide chemistry. And when he came to us, he didn't actually have uh, a new invention, a new chemistry. He just had some ideas to uh, pursue, to um, develop. And so we committed to work with him. We actually funded him nine times over, over ten years with small amounts of money. And eventually, they developed a totally new solvent for carbon capture. And the scalability of that technology has been achieved by working with larger companies. So C-Capture, the company that Chris founded, um, has recently uh, secured investment from BP and Drax. And this is the sea capture technology working today, capturing a ton of CO2 from the flue gas from the Drax power station, uh, which is a 3.2 gigawatt power station in the UK. And you can see the, the porter cabin there that's doing the ton a day. In the background is the main flue. Ultimately, Drax wants to take that technology and scale it and capture 10,000 tons a day. Um, so there's a huge opportunity for that technology to scale via working with a corporate. The second person I want to talk about um, is Professor Brian Steele. And Brian was working um, at Imperial College um, on a new set of materials for fuel cells. Uh, and he and some other professors managed to found a company called Series Power. Um, in the early 2000s, when uh, we were the sort of peak of the fuel cell boom, uh, and like many of the fuel cell companies found at that time, they got into trouble. Um, and the company was perceived not to work, the technology was perceived to have failed. Uh, because we understood the fundamentals behind um, the technology, we were able to sort of make a case to go in and rescue the company. We changed the management team, we put a new strategy together, and we helped them raise significant uh, additional funding. So that now, that company, which was perceived in 2012 to have failed, um, is worth nearly 300 million pounds. That's a snapshot of the fuel cell production at pilot scale in the company today. And it has six large uh, corporate partners, 
including Bosch and Wei Chai, who are um, have invested in the company, the equity, and are planning to, to scale their technology um, to mass markets because they perceive that the series technology is unique and the best um, offer for the applications that they're after. So in summary, we, we have this uh, differentiated model, as Jan said, for uh, building deep tech startups. It's about understanding uh, science fundamentals. It's about committing to the journey. It's about um, then achieving scale through marketing technology. Uh, there are four of our companies here today, and I encourage you to get to meet those teams and learn more about their scalable science startups. Thanks very much. <laughs>